Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. That's Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 and 27 out of the New King James Version. All right. Well, we praise God for all of you. Um, If I did not say it, my name is Enrique Brooks. I'm honored to be the senior pastor of Thrive Church and host of the Prayer 365 podcast, where we are on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. And I am honored to be here with you today on this Testimony Tuesday. All right. So if you got a testimony, and I know you do, go ahead and put it in the comment section. I'll give you space to do so. Um, As well as those that are on the conference line, we're going to give space for you to share as well. And so um, go ahead and do it now. And I'm going to open up the line in a moment. If you're new here, we pray Monday through Friday at 630 a.m. We start our day with a brief devotion and prayer. Um, We also pray on Saturday and Sunday. And we've discovered over the last working on our fifth year, we've discovered that prayer changes things. But most importantly, it changes me. It transforms my life every single day. In fact, it changed my life this morning. (laughs) I'm better. I'm better because of prayer. How about you? Well, we thank God for you. Um, Make sure that if you're if you're new, that you hit the like, follow or subscribe button. We invite you to join us in this lifestyle of prayer. Join this community of prayer warriors and also um, share this with someone. Invite somebody to come and pray with us today. And if you have a personal prayer request, there's a connect card linked in the description of this video. You can send your prayer request to us and we'll be glad to pray with you. All right. Okay, so I'm going to jump over here to the. Well, I see that we already. So, Sister Lana, you you started it off. I'm going to come back to you in just a moment. I want to jump over here to the conference line. Um, Those of you that are testifying on Facebook and YouTube, go ahead and put it in the comment section. But I'm going to go ahead and jump over here to the conference line. If there is anyone on the conference line that has a testimony that they would like to share, I want you to press star six, star six. If you would press star six, that will uh, unmute you and then you'll have the opportunity to share your testimony Again, if you're on the conference line and you want to share your testimony today, you have a praise report. You want to share what the Lord has done in your life. I want to give you space to do so. All right. I see one. Let me go over here quickly. Uh, let's see here. All right. Sister Judy. Up. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Let me. There we go. Go ahead, Sister Judy. Sister Judy, you there? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. Go right ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have a prayer for it. Yes, ma'am. Well, I've got a couple of them. But the first one is Miss Cammie is doing wonderful. She is a nine-year-old little girl who has bone cancer Mm. and has gone through some really tough surgeries and chemo. And the good Lord has brought her through. She's doing well and will be coming home soon. So wow. that's my praise report. Praise God, Sister Judy. We thank the Lord. Um, if y'all didn't hear her correctly, um, she said that Cammie's nine years old. Um, she's battling bone cancer um, and she's dealt with various surgeries and treatments. And here it is. The Lord is bringing her home. Can you praise the Lord with her for that? Thank you so much, Sister Judy, for sharing that testimony about Miss Cammy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Is there someone else that has a praise report on the conference line? If you do, just press star sits to unmute yourself and you can share your praise report. Um, we thank God for that. 
We've been praying for that young lady and to hear that she's making her way back home. That is absolutely wonderful. All right. So I'm not saying that anyone has unmuted themselves yet. Again, if you're on the conference line and you want to share, just press star six. If not, I'm going to jump over here to Facebook and YouTube in the meantime, and I'll check back over there. Um, we've got Sister Lana. Uh, she says here that physical therapy um, for my prosthetic foot is going great. She said, um, she said, oh, just going great. OK, adopted my nephew yesterday. Wow. And I'm getting married. Now, I saw that name change and I was trying to figure out what was going on. <laughs> She said that she is getting married. God has brought a wonderful man into my life and God is is so great to me. Well, we praise the Lord for what he is doing in your life. This is absolutely wonderful, Sister Lana. And we we give God the praise for that. That's powerful. I'm glad to know that you're going that your therapy is going well. Um, I praise the Lord for um, for this child. The Lord has has entrusted you to mother. We praise God for that. And of course, um, this new union um, that's 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 brewing, uh, that's emerging. Uh, we give the Lord praise for that. That's that's good, y'all. I love it. I love it. This is good. This is good. Let's go a little further here. Uh, let me see here. I want to make sure I didn't miss any early on. OK. All right. So let me drop back down here. Sister Vivian. So Vivian says, I just want to thank the Lord for all he's been doing uh, in and out through my life and my children's life. She said, I want to honor him, God, and give him all the praise for for he is so worthy. Said, I'm forever grateful for his enduring love. I thank him for everything and helping me to become more confident and faithful and knowing I am significantly made. Come on here. And he hears and sees me. Well, we give the Lord praise for that, Sister Vivian. Uh, that is absolutely powerful. We praise the Lord for that testimony. Amen. Amen. All right. Is there another? If you have a testimony and you haven't put it in the comments yet, you didn't run out of time. I'll circle back around at the end and we'll be glad to share it. I'm going to I'm going to jump on or move on rather into our devotional for this morning. And I'll circle back in the comments to see if I see a testimony or if there's somebody on the conference line that wants to testify. So let's get to it. We're in a theme. We're in an overarching series, rather titled The Signs of Significance, Signs of Significance, where we're seeing the God who sees me, seeing the God who sees me. That's that's our goal. That's what's happening in this series. I'm pointing you to these signs of that declare your significance. We've been um, actually sharing and reciting declarations as a community. The first of which is I'm significant because God sees me. The second is I'm significant because God hears me. And today or this week, we're declaring I'm significant because God created me. Oh, yeah. I want you to say that aloud. I want you to put that in the comment section. Say, I'm significant because God created me. Yeah, write that in your in your personal study guide. I got several messages um, from individuals who are requesting personal study guides for the series. Um, that's exciting to me. We're going to get them mailed out as soon as possible. And um, that's that's just that's huge. That's huge. Now, it's going to be important that you keep up with it. Um, because once you send it off initially, it's not going to have everything in it at, at, at the beginning because we're going to be adding to it as we go. So it's going to be very important that you go and print out um, the pieces or the extra sheets every week to add to it. All right. But this is huge. Um, if you want one, make sure that you text me to 813-999-1359 if you want a personal study guide for the series titled Signs of Significance. Okay, so this week we've been focusing on the fact that God created me. He created us. We are created individuals. I don't know if you, if you really paid attention to this, but it's true. In fact, 
this is, I would say, um, a foundational sign of our significance is that I'm a created being. I'm not here by accident, but God made me on purpose. And the same is true about you, that you're not here by happenstance. You're not here because your mama happened to meet your father. No, you're here because God intended for you to be here. Can we praise the Lord for that today? Yeah. And so uh, we're, we're really ruminating on this truth. We're allowing this truth to resonate in our lives. And we're using the word of God to inform us of our value. Let's go to the scripture. Genesis chapter one, verse 26. And we're going to focus mainly on 26 today. It says, then God said, let us make man in our image. Watch this part. According to our likeness, according to our likeness, the word that's used there for likeness in the Hebrew is demuth. I believe that's the way you pronounce that. And uh, I don't really need you to remember that. But what I do want you to remember is one of its meanings and its model, M-O-D-E-L, model. Yeah, the word likeness also means model. So in other words, when God created us, what he did is he made us according to his likeness. And if we were made according to his likeness, that means that he is the model by which we were made. I want you to see that and uh, how significant that is. God made us in his likeness or according to his likeness. And what that means is he is the model. God is the model by which we were made. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that that right there uh, sends your value through the roof uh, out of the stratosphere. I mean, it, it, it really skyrockets your value like never before because you were not made uh, just in any any regular way. No, no, no. You were made uh, after the likeness of God, and he is the model by which you were made. Can I show you um, what this looks like? For instance, God is triune in nature. You've got God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He's triune in nature. And then if you look at us, we too are triune in nature. Brother Brooks, can you show me? Absolutely. We are spirit, soul, and body. Can you see that? We are spirit, soul, and body. And so because we, God is the model by which we were made, we discover that there are similarities in how we were created that reflect his image. Now, because he is the model by which we were made, I want you to know that that means he is the model by which we should live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he is the model by which we were made, that means that he is the model by which we should live. In other words, if we want to learn how to live as people who were made in the image of God, according to his likeness, then that means that we've got to look at his life. He is eternal life. He is life itself. And if we would watch him, we would learn how to live. This is why the series that we started out this year with called The Creation Story is so important because we look to God as the model for how we should live as people. In that story, we get a front row seat to watch God, to watch Elohim and watch how he works and even how he rests. Now, I want to kind of hone in there for just a second. Um, the Lord, um, he he really got my attention, arrested my heart the other day because I'm the kind of person where I focused on perhaps days one through six of the creation story, and I like to get things done. I work, work, 
work, work, work. I, I work. Um, I have two jobs. I'm bivocational and I keep going. And the Lord had to remind me of the significance of following his lead, of looking at him as the model. Because on day seven, the Lord didn't keep working, but he took a rest. In other words, he had to remind me of the significance of resting. Can you see that? Yeah. But if I had not looked at him as the model, but looked at those who are on Facebook as my models or those that are on YouTube or Instagram or on TV as my models, I get the perception that we've got to grind all the time. Whereas God said, I take a rest. And in the same way, you should also. I want to pray for you this morning because I believe that you were made in the image of God and according to his likeness, that he is the model by which you were made. And therefore, he is the model by which we should live. And I believe that if we would live like him in every way, that we would experience life in a way that we've never seen it before. Let's pray today that we would follow that model, the one by which we were made, so that we could experience the life we were created to live. Father, we honor you and we give you glory. We magnify you. We bless you. We honor you because you are good. Father, in fact, you're so good and we're discovering day by day just how good you are. Lord, when you made us, you made us according to your, well, in your image, and according to your likeness. Father, you used yourself as the model by which we were made. Father, I believe that this truth alone should, should revolutionize the way that we see ourselves. That when we look in the mirror, that we shouldn't see somebody or someone who is insignificant, but we should see value. And Father, in the things that we do, Lord, we should not just live carelessly or aimlessly, but when we don't know what to do, we should look to you because you are the model by which we ought to live. So Lord, this morning, we surrender ourselves to the model. Father, we repent of the ways that we thought we were supposed to live or what we thought was good to us and we yield ourselves to you so lord have your way in our lives teach us by your spirit and lord by your word how to live help us to recognize how valuable we are because we were created in your image according to your likeness father you're the model by which we were made therefore you are the model by which we will live and we will experience life and life more abundantly in jesus name amen well i love each of you god bless you um listen i i want to check and see if we've got any more any more testimonies in the comment section okay i see one let me go a little further and see if I see another. All right, so I see one more. If you're on a conference line and you still want to testify, just press star six and we're going to we're going to give you a space to share. Here's a testimony here. This is Elder Linda Moore. This is Chanel's dad's um, beautiful wife, um, our mother. Uh, she says here, I thank God for significance in the name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes people in your life can make you feel insignificant with how they treat you, my Lord. She said, glory be to God for reminding me that my significance in him is what matters. I feel so blessed. That is powerful. I was meditating on that this morning and I thank you for sharing that. Well, brothers and sisters, I'm not gonna hold you up 
we give God praise for all the testimonies that were shared. I thank you all for joining us this morning. I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on today's devotional. If you haven't already, make sure you do your reflection questions that are in your personal study guide so that you'll be ready to go this coming Sunday. I love you. God bless you. Oh, don't forget, make sure you share it with somebody. Talk to somebody so that you'll be able to discuss what the Lord has shown you as you reflect it. God, God bless you. Take care.